and difficulties and for them to do what they're going to do today is really, really special. And they've put in, am I getting the thumbs up back there? Yep, they've put in lots and lots of work. So they're going to come in and take the position and I want you to give them the biggest round of applause. Let's welcome the kids from Superstars and Superheroes. Our beautiful star. Come on, star. Here she goes. Oh, baby Jesus, he was nearly late. <laughs> right. Can I just get my next salutation? That you want But in the no cinder seer, no sister spotty, no Aladdin, no Jack, no giant scrotty, wise men three, shepherds a few, an ox and an ass and a camel. Poo! So now it's time to set the scene out upon the hillside green, recline the tree in slumber deep, a group of lookers after sheep. The reason we've not called them shepherds is nothing rhymes with that except leopards. And in Israel, they were very few those that who live in Galilee Zoo. All at once, a flash of light. <laughs> Fear gave those shepherds quite a fright. It said with a voice of thunder that hardly rent heavens asunder. Fear not. It said in a little louder voice, who picked him for a part? It's a pretty poor choice. <laughs> Fear not. It said that made us quake. Are you sure you haven't made a mistake? We're only shepherds. At the very least, would you like a rabbi? Perhaps a priest? Levi, scribe, Pharisee? I'm sure you can't mean me. Fear not, I say, I bring good news. Are you going to send me on a cruise? <laughs> For you in David's town this night is born a baby. It's all right, it's not mine, because I'm not married. <laughs> from heaven so shut your noise stop messing around and get yourselves to Bethlehem town <laughs> so up they got in down the chase to Bethlehem town they made great haste and saw the baby in the straw they cried and Cop! and <laughs> they gathered round and had a peep. They brought the child a weary sheep. Then off they went back to the fire to talk about this new messiah. Meanwhile, in far off eastern clime, three wise men are having a chat and rhyme. What is this icky goo? It's frankincense. It cost me lots and lots of pence. It's smelly, sticky, and it's runny. We've also cost me lots of money. 
Murray's mystic dog mysterious it speaks deaf and all things serious. Gifts says strange to give a baby. I wonder, am I mistaken, maybe? <laughs> I've brought my lamb, see the genie appear. Oh, Yanni, that's the punter we did last year. You're supposed to bring a gift of gold. Well, I would have done if I'd been told. We <laughs> know daughter's lamb said, oh, Dean, I'm fairly certain that it's a gold Dean. <laughs> Very, very long journey. We must make let's give all the things we need to take. Well, we'll need rupees and lira and Japanese yen, Deutschmark and fennies and checkbook and pen. Now, don't get yourself in a state of distress. Leave that all behind. Take the American Express. <laughs> <laughs> so off they set upon the way, but all those camels held this way. And camels travel incredibly slow. Slower than a British rail, you know. But have some patience, please don't go. We'll see you later in the show. Get ready to boo, prepare to hiss, as we meet the villain of this piece. Tis Herod the Great, or so he's called. As though he's as thin as a rake and going to be bald. Oh. 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 Behold! I am the king of the Jews. I am the king of the world. I look like a king. I feel like a king. That's because I am the king. <laughs> But I have a baby born nearby. But for my throne, he could be a contender. But I can be quite a pretender. I will pretend to worship him. I will pretend to love him. But I hate him. I hate you. I hate you all. King-headed plots, king-headed screams, king-headed plans, what he will do. Now all together, let's go to the food! God of you must. Look behind you! I promise you this much. I won't mind you. I must crave a fox. I must slippery as a snake. When I find the kid, his life I'll take! <laughs> 